Alright, so we finalized the new Pi Girl Zero Plus, as I'm titling it. Uh, it's based on Adafruit's Pi Girl Zero, and then my rendition of the several versions that include a speaker system and an amplifier and standoffs. This is a, um, a different version that actually has a larger screen, so we've upgraded the screen from a 2.2 inch screen to a 3.2 inch screen so as you can see here here's the size comparison between a 2.2 and a so this is a 2.2 and then that's the 3.2 so much larger screen um, the case itself between the modified version I have and the new one isn't much larger it's a little less than a half inch longer the tight is the exact same the depth is the exact same so it's only longer by about a half an inch a little less um, interesting here is you'll see that we move the P Pi TFT buttons onto the side. I've actually made them a PLA style that matches the case color. Um, you can see these buttons right here. They look about like that. So they're just these little style buttons that fit in the case. They're pretty tight. Um, you loosen them up right when you print them and then they tend to fit okay. Um, some interesting things is I uh, just to point out as I made this device so first of all um, the screen's a lot brighter as you'll notice um, mu much brighter than that screen um, and then uh, also I fit a uh, 2500 milliamp hour battery versus a 2000 milliamp battery you can still use the 2000 milliamp battery but um, I'd recommend the, the 2500 if you want more game time. It's just really tight to fit that large of a battery in there. So if you do want that battery, you're going to have to really modify the case, or not modify the case, but really try to crunch everything in there. A lot of wires go in there and stuff in it. And actually it makes the the uh, potent, uh, potent uh, potentometer volume control knob, actually makes it stick out a little further. So what you'll end up wanting to do is probably get a smaller, I'm gonna get a smaller pot basically. So I'm gonna put a, right now it's a 16 millimeter pot. I'm gonna put a 12 millimeter one, a little smaller, should fit perfect. So that, that's what you should do if you have a larger battery is put a smaller uh, volume control knob in there. Uh, something else to keep in mind is uh, this, this game pad, the PCB game pad on the D pad to fit with the screen size was really tight. I didn't want to extend the case any further than I could. So I essentially crunch this in and it kind of sits a little bit above the, uh, the, um, the screen um, PCB. So what I end up doing, you'll end up finding that it sits a little higher. So what I do is put on the back of this Ninja Flex, uh, the base of the actual the control or the knob here, you'll actually have to put some masking tape down. I put a couple layers, two or three layers, and it just kind of, it helped with that separation between the PCB pad and the, uh, the D-pad, so do that too. Um, and then the, these buttons here, I put tape on the back of these buttons as well, just for better grip. And the type of tape I'm using is just uh, standard masking tape. So that's kind of what that looks like. Um, but this is the final product. It works perfect. Um, like I said, you can see that the pot's a little big. Um, but it's working fairly well here. Uh, let's back out and I'll show you. So these two buttons here, the start and select button will back you out. Um, you can actually go through, it plays Game Boy Advance games really well. Um, let's go play some Nintendo games and I'll show you this. So that's Nintendo. It works with pretty much um, about every emulator up to before Nintendo 64 and PS1. I got a one PS1 game to work, but that's essentially the, the new, um, I call it the Pi Girl Zero Plus with the larger screen. Um, if you're interested in printing um, these out, I'll have all this out on Thingiverse. You guys can download the case and do it your, and work on it yourself or modify it however you see fit. 
Um, I'll be selling ver uh, cases if people want to buy them on my Etsy shop. So go out there and grab them if you'd like. They'll come with the buttons as well. I'll probably look at doing some black buttons, the Ninja Flex style here as well, if people are interested in that. So um, just give a couple variations of that. But I'll be selling cases soon, and then I'll actually make these if people want to make them. I already make these for anybody who's interested as well, but if somebody doesn't want to go through the effort, I'm willing to make them. Um, I do charge for what they are and how long they take to build. So, um, But check it out, and if you hit like the video, please hit me up with a like. Thank you.